The catalog on the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition is an alphabetical list of all functions and instructions on the TI-84 Plus C. You can paste any function or instruction from the catalog to the current cursor location. Built into the catalog is Catalog Help, which contains information and helps you to easily provide many functions with the inputs they need without requiring you to know any special syntax or format. Using the catalog is easy. Just press the second button and then the zero key which has the word catalog in blue above it. This will bring up that alphabetical list. Let's find the numeric derivative for f of x equals x squared at x equals 2. The function for this starts with the letter n. Notice in the upper right corner there's a small letter a, which means by default when you go into the catalog, the alpha lock is turned on. This can be helpful to jump right to a section of the catalog since this is an alphabetical list and we don't want to have to scroll all the way down to the letter n one by one. I'll press the log key, which has a green letter n above it, to jump down to the n's. Now I'll press the down arrow key until n deriv is highlighted. This function will find the numeric derivative. To access the help functionality, highlight any function in the catalog and then press the plus key. I can see the color of the status bar change to green, and I'll jump into the help. Here, just below the function name, I'll see parentheses and the format I need to use to evaluate this function. First, I need to enter my expression, so I'll press the x variable key to type x, and then the x squared key to square it. Now, according to the help, I need to type a comma, so I'll press the comma button just to the right of the x squared key. Next, I need to define the variable, which is x, so I'll press the x variable key again, and then another comma. The final required input is the value at which we are evaluating the derivative. In this case, this value is 2, so I'll enter that here. The final value is in brackets, which means it's optional. This is the step value, since we're approximating the function. If you don't enter anything for that value, the default value will be used. I'm fine with the default, so I'll close the parentheses. Now I'll press Enter to paste all of that information back to the home screen. I'm in math print mode, so I'll see the derivative entered using the traditional ddx format. If I were in classic mode, I'd see that catalog function returned as is to the home screen. To evaluate this, I'll press Enter again, and I can see that the derivative of x squared when x equals 2 is 4.